grow cold? The citizens of the universe lift their voices and praise God that Satan's reign of terror is forever ended. With the peace of the cosmos eternally secure, God now directs his attention to the creation of a new heaven and a new earth. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. After the earth is purified by fire, the Lord then takes up his wondrous work of recreation. At the power of his word, the earth is restored into its former Edenic beauty. He speaks, and a carpet of rich, lush vegetation covers the planet. At his command, land and water again teem with vibrant life. Countless complex and magnificent creatures of every kind peacefully explore the new paradise. The invigorating atmosphere is pure and sweet. The earth becomes one grand showcase of creative brilliance. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. The security of the universe is complete. With the New Jerusalem as their capital, all created beings rejoice under the loving dominion of God. Those who have been rescued from eternal destruction share a special bond with their Creator that no other heavenly beings can appreciate. Yet while sin and sinner have been forever destroyed, one trace of the great rebellion still remains. What happened to your hand? It is the scars on the hands, feet, and side of Jesus. As day after blissful day of eternity passes, all sad and painful memories dissipate in the glory of heaven's brilliant splendor. No longer tied to a limited lifespan, the immortal children of God are now free to reach their highest ambitions. The limitless pursuit of knowledge invigorates and stimulates the mind. No longer bound to earth, the redeemed are free to explore the wonders of God's endless universe. Heaven is a place of perfect peace and harmony where love for God and others fills every heart. The Bible promises that this coming kingdom can be your eternal home. Jesus sacrificed himself on the cross to provide you forgiveness and victory from sin. More than anything else, Jesus wants you to live with him in this earth made new. And while he's desperate to save you, he cannot force this free gift upon you. You must choose to accept it yourself. Won't you come to him today? Ask him now and he'll come into your heart.